Welcome back to Let's Play Savage Lands, and with me, Jamie, from randomizeuser.com. And we're following on pretty much from the um, uh, where we left off in the last video. We're still looking at secrets and endgame stuff, because why the hell not? And this is the, We're currently on the update where they've just made Kerr more aggressive, as we saw last time. So, I mean, not, not a huge amount has changed other than that in the game, so um, that's why I haven't really been going on about the update recently. Um, because, well, whatever. I think there's, um, there's a couple of other things, like there's extra, extra lore, and there's a couple of minor weapon changes. Like, they've taken out at least one axe. Just, like, boring legacy stuff like that. So, yeah, as I said, we're going to continue looking for secrets. In this one, we're going to go we're going to go find the needle. Um, we're going to show off the Shadow Shroud Sword, and we're going to also try and hunt down Smuggler's Cove. Um, I can show you the first one straight off. Because I actually already have the Shadow Shroud. Um, let's put it into my um, pot bar there. Now, this was given to me by Carnifax, as a guy I mentioned in the previous episode. Um, uh, you, the only way to get this is to um, kill Draconis, um, which is um, a mob we've actually seen before in these videos before he before they moved him. Now he's, he's got a rare chance of spawning on Jamanga or Yaminga, or however, however you want to pronounce that. I don't want to call it Yaminga. That sounds rude. Yeah, bloody Minga. <laughs> no. Okay, so yeah, the, the Shadow Shroud, you, you kill Draconis, and he drops a hilt for the sword, and then you need lots of... Um, let's actually call this up, actually, um, in the in the thingamabob. And probably right at the end, I'm guessing. Lots of swords and things in it these days. There it is, Shadow Shroud. You need the Shadow Shroud hilt from Draconis, but you also need the Shard of Draconis, times 250. To get sh um, Shards of Draconis, you do actually need to kill Jamanga or Yaminga baddies. Um, and eventually you'll get 250. That's farming, and I don't want to do that, so I've never... I, I can't... I'm not sorry, I can't kill Draconis. <laughs> so that's, that's why I haven't bothered doing anything like that in the video. But I have been donated the sword quite... Um, uh, I'm very grateful for that by um, Carnifex. So, let's have a look at it. Um, damage, 200. Compared to Wolfsbane, 95. So it's double Wolfsbane. Um, there are... Um, see if I've actually got it in my inventory. I might have actually ditched this somewhere else. Hang on. Um, if you look at the um, like the war hammers, these are the the, the two-handed weapons that do like twice as much damage. That only has a damage of 144, but it does take up both hands. The shadow shroud only takes up one hand. So let's put the wolfsbane and the shadow shroud like that, and you have the meatiest combination. This is fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you had two Shadow Shrouds, that'd be even better. But this is going to change absolutely everything. My little um, rabbit farm here. I can't actually pick anything up. My inventory is so full these days. What I need to do is make a, uh, a small dragon scale bag. Um, I'm getting there. Um, I've got uh, two dragon scales yellow, two dragon scales green from killing X. Um, but I need three of each, so that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna happen soon. But for now, even though I've got you know I've got, I've got slots for days, my inventory is so full. Anyway, aren't we supposed to be doing something? Uh, <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's just keep on going straight down this way. Uh, <laughs> one hit. I'm going to leave the goat. Uh, this used to be Fury Road, of course. Now it's Nothing Road. And now they took out the Furies. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on. Um, maybe eat some uh, Sundered Surprise, because I'm surprisingly low on meat at the moment. <laughs> some cast-offs from a long time ago, though. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I think I'm going to be finding the Needle, which is a spear weapon. Um, yeah, it's the added spears quite recently into the game. We had a very quick look at them, but they were a bit shit, and they, they weren't quite fully um, finished yet. Um, I'm actually getting quite cold, so I'll have to burn a tree, I think. So I'm actually heading towards Grimsby, um, also known as Lake Tyvek, uh, which also just appeared in the bottom left. So let me just um, burn the tree. Doodle 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 doodle. Ah, there we go. And let's actually some switch things around in my inv. Oh, this is just my. It's so full. What can I get rid of? Um, compass. I never use a compass. Get rid of the bone. There we go. <laughs> Fucking bone. And that's bloody stuff. Um, have I got any bandages? Yeah, I've got bandages there. Right there. Okay. Right. Oh. Right. Yeah, I really should be. <laughs> I should maybe want to edit all that stuff out, but I probably won't bother. Uh, okay, Okay. so yep, heading towards Grimsby. I'm going to probably take a little shortcut just to cut off the journey time. Always a pleasure to visit the island... The <laughs> whatever the hell this is called. See the island of something. Damey Islet. And also pay, uh, pay my respects, of course, to the floating rocks. Hello, floating rocks. Uh, okay, so Grimsby then. 
Um, yeah, ages ago in these videos, in this second season of videos, um, I, I, Grimsby was my base um, because the, these buildings were all um, proper buildings. And at some point they burnt them all down, so now you can't do that anymore. Um, you have to rebuild them um, using lots of bags of nails and wood and things like that. So I haven't really bothered coming back to Grimsby much at, at all, because really, what's the point? However, there is one thing you can, if you, if you do want to visit, you can actually go and find some lore on the end of the pier. Or bear, I haven't seen a bear for a while. Huh. Whatever. Right, so, the needle is hidden in a haystack. Um, it makes sense, I guess. Um, oh, I think there's a lean-to I built. Um, yeah, let's, let's warm up in there for a bit. So yes, it's, it's a nice little pun by the developers, and very very obvious really, I guess. Um, uh, the needle spear is in the haystack. But there are a lot of haystacks in the game. Um, so it's just a case of hunting uh, for a needle in a... Well, you know. <laughs> uh, just wait for my... Ah, oh, fuck it. That's enough. So, yeah. So the um, the, the haystack you're actually going to find... Yeah, I should mention this is all spoiler territory. <laughs> if you didn't already guess. But yeah, the needle is in one of these haystacks. Um, but which one? This was really easy on the stream when I saw it, because um, it actually popped up without me having to burn everything. Um, but yeah, in one of these, in fact I'm just going to have to burn them all. In one of these there is the needle. So let's just set these all ablaze and we shall see. It also warmed me up quite nicely. Burn. And... Yeah, I see him, don't worry. <laughs> there. <laughs> there, just move slightly to the left. He's not difficult to evade. Burn, burn, burn! The ring of fire! Do, 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 do. Yep, so... Tonk. <laughs> yeah. Use my... One of the biggest weapons in the game to get rid of the easiest baddie in the game. Uh, okay, so now I just have to wait. Um, these take quite a while to burn. Probably about a minute. So I'm just going to enjoy the warmth, toast some marshmallows, and I'll be with you shortly. Nearly there. Uh, these do take quite a long time, and they do slowly degrade. Um, do, do, that wonderful little explosion animation, which I quite like, as things do um, slowly disintegrate. Um, nearly there. I think it might actually be in this one, where the skeleton is currently um, lying in state. Um, oh, that one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. And I've got, you know, I've just got this horrible feeling that maybe the needle is actually just like one of those weapons... Uh-oh. <laughs> that you can only get one per player. Okay, I'm just going to sneakily edit in this extra bit of footage. Um, so, um, I've, th this is a different character, but the same map. Um, and, as you can see, my other character destroyed all the haystacks, but couldn't find the needle. I can, because, yes, it is indeed a weapon that you can only find once per character. So here it is! This character has now picked up... Oh, there's no bloody space in the inventory. <laughs> God damn it. This character has now picked up his own version of the needle. So yeah, that solves that. It is a once per character weapon. Right, okay, back to your scheduled programming. So this is the needle spear. Uh, let's go and tonk something with it. Um, not really that... Um, I don't really like spears particularly. Uh, I haven't really found much of a use for them beyond anything else. Um, okay, come back, dear. Come back, dear. Come back, dear. Why? It's almost as if deer are hard to get in Savage Lands. Who knew? <laughs> okay, let's get this Tonk and X. Hello, X. Tonk! Yes. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. That's, um, they's, with Wolfsbane, I think they take three to four. I'm going to double check the stats. Damage 150. I did not know that detail. Also, it damages buildings quite nicely. Durability is good-ish, I think. It's better than Shadow Shroud. Ah. Good. Good. Okay, I just waited until the morning so we can see what we're doing. I've left Grimsby and headed towards the Northlands, been killing a few things, and I've just arrived at North Wind, where we're going to find Smuggler's Cove, hopefully. I was very briefly shown this by Carnifax, but I can't quite remember where it was. But I'm guessing it's kind of opposite the ocean, if it's a Smuggler's Cove. The one hint on the forum, um, because I didn't really want to like, cheat and find a how-to video, is that it's an um, upper path um, that seems to go nowhere. So it's just a case of um, breaking down walls and things like that. Uh, actually, we're quite close to him. Um, I suppose we're fairly close to the portal to Jumanga from here. 
Um, if you want to, the Shadow Shroud, I must mention this before I forget. The Shadow Shroud, um, wherever, uh, wherever the hell it is, it's somewhere. <laughs> um, the Shadow Shroud, if you actually want to repair it, I need to go to re the repair screen, that's right. Uh, and if you want to repair the Shadow Shroud, you also need Shard of Draconis. You need them to forge it, but you also need them to repair it. So you will have to go back to Jamanga and start tonking things if you want to repair it. I've already got mine down to about 70%, which is worrying. Uh, anyway, so somewhere we're going to find a path to nowhere where there should be a little cove. Which is, eh, that's a sort of path to nowhere, but there's, there's definitely something at the end of it. Because look, there's some um, copper ore. Fuck copper ore. So, yeah, somewhere there's a wall that if you tonk enough, you will be able to get access to the cove. Um, there's a keylet. K-I-I-L-O-T. Oh, God! And he's just, yeah. He's, he snuck into a wall and then attacked me with all his bloody nastiness. Um, so I need, just need some babo. There it is. Uh, huh. And let's cure that before it goes any further. There we go. Overcome a disease. Okay, so somewhere in Northwind, I think it's fairly low down, there is this entranceway. This is going to take quite a while, so I will do some judicious editing, I think. Where could it be? More floating rocks. I wonder if that's a clue. <laughs> uh, we are quite near the ocean, so this sort of makes sense that there might be something around here. But, I don't know. Let's try. Nope. <laughs> Up here? Nope. No. No. <laughs> I don't know how many hits you'd even need to actually open the rock, so I might be going I might be going a little mad. Maybe I need to actually hit, tonk things a bit. Oh look, there's a hole. Maybe it's through here. Oh bloody hell. <laughs> no, not here. Right, come on. Maybe it's the maybe it's the next path along. Try around here. No. God, this is going to take forever. Hmm, just following this path up. There's the bloody, what used to be the ice portal. And now in. So it's not there. Maybe if I keep on going round here. Oh! There it is! What the hell was I hit? That took about 20 hits! I found it! And it was indeed just up from um, that sort of like a, what looked like a kind of a, a Kobe type thing. Um, oh, floating rocks. Yeah, so this is round the kind of left hand side of it, I guess. Um, and it took, I think it did take the full 20 wax. Um, hence you can see all that stone before it all disappeared. And here it is! Here's Smuggler's Cove! Huh. Alright. So my first instinct was correct, but then I ran off and did other stuff as well. Oh, and a night bloom flower. And a night bloom flower. And a night bloom flower. Three night bloom flowers. Cool. Plus iron ingots. Um, a crafting table. A forge. And... Oh, bloody FPS bullshit. F five bloody night bloom flowers. Plus a chest containing pretty much everything ever. Cool! Uh, I've got no, absolutely no space in my inventory for any of this. Um, but good to see some iron rings. Uh, and, oh, some t oh, tannin. <laughs> Potions. Bandages. Um, nothing like super overpowered or like um, the most useful thing in the world. But look, 200 arrows. Um, I don't ever use bows. But there's, yeah, there's plenty of good stuff here. Um, yeah, I just need to actually use it now. And oh yeah, the sun is setting. Oh, I need to cough. So I'll just pause here um, and make some space in my inventory. Okay, I think that's it. Um, we'll leave Smuggler's Cove behind. Um, I'll just run around the front just to make it absolutely clear where that it absolutely is. Okay, so that's pretty much all the secrets that I know about in the game. All six. Um, we've seen quite a few. We've got a few new weapons. 
Um, yeah, we haven't. Obviously, we haven't killed Draconis. That might be something for the future, but I doubt it because I think that's more of a, like a multiplayer end game type um, battle type thing. Okay, heading back to centre point. I'm just coming past late Tyvek again. Yeah, so a quick addendum to what um, to what um, just to finish things off. Um, I've killed a lot of glacial X in the course of this episode, and I've finally got enough dragon scales, both green and yellow, off them to make a dragon scale bag, which is nice. Um, I couldn't remember if I'm, I wasn't quite sure if they dropped both green and yellow, but it turns out they do. So I will be able to increase the size of my inventory shortly. But also, um, I completely unexpectedly, um, the, uh, the the Glacial X also dropped a couple of wolf souls, which helps to forge wolfsbane. And even more incredibly, piss off. They One of them um, dropped a, a shard of Draconis, which I thought you could only get on the third island. So yeah, I have a shard of Draconis here, which means I can actually now uh, repair my um, Shadow Shroud once I've actually got to a Dragon Forge, um, which I've actually got one back at centre point. Although there's no point in repairing it now anyway, because I'm down. It's at seventy-five percent, so I'll probably wait until it gets right down to the bottom. But yes, that's good. That's good to know that um, you can actually get um, those shards of Draconis from here, and also wolf souls. Which, um, again, is something I thought you could only get in the third island. Um, they may change that in a future update, um, but for now, um, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's, a, it's a rare source, but it can be done. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. This has been JB from RandomizedUser.com. I've um, covered a lot of ground in the last couple of videos. Um, nice lot of secrets, so that's all rather good. Yeah, so subscribe for future episodes. Um, next time, new update, presumably, um, and we can see what's in that. Cool. Okay, so I shall see you next time with, um, yeah, there it is, um, center point just there in the distance. I'm home! Put the tea on, love!